Okay, everyone. Pasensya na. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sobrang sorry. Uh, it problems ang mga challenges pag nagla-live session tayo. Kaya medyo nabitin tayo dun sa first live video earlier. Kaya itutuloy na natin ngayon ang ating uh, Q&A portion muna with uh, Coach Ice. Yes. So, ito na. Question. How do you motivate yourself to work on your business every single day when there are days you feel like quitting? Yes. May ganun bang time? <laughs> Isip ko nga eh, kung, kung kailan ko ba siya last na ramdaman na ganun. Pero ang recently wala naman. Um, siguro kasi, I've, currently I've designed na yung business ko, yung freelancing ko in a way na since meron na nga ako yung team. So, kasi usually yung source nung pagiging yung yung feeling of uh, you wanna quit. Uh, so, ano yan eh? Sanhiya ng burnout. So, I currently I've designed na yung freelancing business ko para maiwasan ko yung burnout. So, um, if ever siguro na I feel like um, not continuing <laughs> kung ano yung na, na, pag, nasimulan ko. I guess I will just look back at the things that I've done. Kasi hindi rin naman biro yung nasimulan ko na yung effort, yung hard work, time, energy, luha, lahat yun, dugo. So, um, looking back at those would make me really think na um, do I really wanna do this pa? Like, gusto ko lang ba itapon yung lahat ng nasi- nagawa ko, nasimulan ko. And then from there, I'm pretty sure uh, after that reflection, go, go, go na ulit. So, I think that's the best way then for for other people to, to if ever na mapunta sila sa ganun situation, yeah, just look back at what, what, what have you done, what have you started, and then ask yourself if you're willing to just put that in two weeks. Yeah. Recall, recall din pag may time. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Ito. What were your struggles when you were starting? Ah, struggles when I was starting. Siguro, I remember yung going back dun sa na-share ko kanina, yung, yung first call ko with John, yung siya yung nag-busy sa akin <laughs> sa problema ko na freelancing. So, uh, as far as I can remember, parang ang pinaka-challenge ko nun was, I I wanted to to be, I wanted to offer, ano, I wanted to offer all sorts of digital marketing services. So, kasi dream ko talaga magkaroon ng agency even before I even know na agency is a, a thing in freelancing. Kasi, um, yung, yung first job ko was with an advertising agency. So, I, I know the industry, I know how how the operations, parang I, I've seen it firsthand, I've experienced it. So, so, nagustuhan ko yung ganong setup. And, that's why I thought of offering a diverse set of services and then then ko na realize na ah uh, when it comes to freelancing si, uh it's better to start with with one concrete clear offer muna so that's why i chose um instead of being a full service parang digital marketing professional i focus on social media so specifically actually Yung ginagamit ko lang na parang title is just social media, but but I started really with just Facebook lang. Then saka na lang ako nag-expand to other platforms. Kasi ako, ako rin nagsa-social media ako before, pero naloka ako sa dami na social media. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, ang dami kasi. <laughs> oh. Ay, yun, 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 na rin, speaking of social media, uh, just to share sa mga newbies, ano ba ang difference ng social media management hmm. sa social media marketing? Yan. Okay. 
Sige, so yung social media management, uh, it's more of, like for example, social media management, specifically Facebook management, ibig sabihin nun, i, uh, ikaw yung magmamanage nung, nung page, ikaw yung magpo-post nung content, ikaw yung magre-respond pag may inquiries, pag may comments dun sa post, ikaw yung magme-maintain. So basically, more on maintaining the, the the page. So kapag social media marketing, mas ano siya, mas malawak kasi it also includes yung strategy. Like, ano yung magiging approach mo with the content, ano-ano yung types of uh, post na ipapublish mo, paano yung planning, also with the ads, mag ads ka ba? Um, papasok doon dyan actually yung messenger marketing eh, kasi part yun ng social media. So, is it also um, advisable na mag-add ka agad ng chatbot dun sa Facebook page mo? Yung, yung mga ganun. So, social media marketing, it's it's a wider scope. It's it's um, more on the strategy side. So, social media management is just more of just maintaining. Tapos, meron kang ibang kasama to work with. Kasi kung social media management lang yung yung team ng isang client or yung team mo, uh, it's just very, ano lang siya, very, very, ano lang, very focused lang yung gagawin mo. Alright. Nakakalito yan eh kapag umpisa kasi ako rin ganyan eh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, um, may ba tayo? Next question would be like, since this is a channel na may faith, freelancing with mm. faith, medyo isingit natin ang kote. Meron ka bang... Alam ko naman pag mga Pinoy mostly, or lalo na pag Catholic, eh medyo hindi familiar sa mga Bible verses. Be, okay. Pero somehow you have one ba na nakaka-inspire or nagre-remind sa'yo na yun mo yun, pag during trials and all. Actually, wala akong specific verse na talagang yung super memories ko. Pero nung nabigay mo yung question na yan sa akin, ang unang pumasok sa isip ko was yung parable of the sower. So, hmm. tama ba? Parable of the sower. Basta, uh, parang bigla ko naisip yun na yung, yung story na yon sa Bible, yung iba merong sower, tapos natatanim siya, um, tinakas niya yung seeds, diba meron sa, sa rocky land, sa rocky soil pala, sa, sa medyo flat, sa medyo mabasa, so sa iba-ibang sa iba-ibang um, types of soil. So, for me, yung story na yun, yung parable na yun, um, I think it's more of, uh, it, nag-resonate ako doon kasi for me, uh, it's a story of growth. So, maraming interpretations na pwedeng mabuo, pero for me, it's, it's a story of growth kasi yung yung seeds na kinakas sa soil for me that's ano eh that's um uh that talks about the opportunities that we have in life yung opportunities na ginagrab natin so minsan may mga opportunities sa yung ginagrab na uh hindi siya nagma-materialize uh, hindi siya uh, nagka-come out as we expect kasi na uh, hindi okay, or let's say client, hindi siya, gustong gusto mo talaga siya maklose, pero hindi mo na close, o kaya uh, client na hindi ka binayaran, na scam ka, yung mga ganun. So, um, those, uh, those, those are just part of us, of our, of, of us, like being human beings, na kailangan lang natin siya tanggapin, because it's part of our growth, and sooner or later, as, as we, keep on casting seeds dyan, left and right, darating at darating tayo to the point na yung opportunity na talagang really made for us will be given to us. Basta wag lang tayo magsawang. Um, mag-take ng opportunities, mag-take ng action, mag-move on lang. Thank yeah. for that. So, yan, pag mga Bible verses, iba-iba talaga message para sa atin. Mm-mm. <laughs> um, 
Do you see your freelance business as a work or a mission? Medyo malalim. Hmm, freelance business as a work or a mission. Actually, it's ano, um right now it's more of a mission na. Pero when I started, it's it's more of a work kasi um kapag work kasi you're more into into ako ah, personally parang if if i see it as just work i'm more into the profit or more on the revenue side so if i see it as a mission if if i think that i could help a business even if alam kong naghihikaw sila diba like they can only pay me so much tapos uh i still choose to work with them then that's that's fulfilling a mission. So, right now, oh, I still get premium clients. Some, some are not premium. So, ano, ano na ko sa stage na I, I am at the stage in a business na I can afford to even take yung mga uh, not so premium because I know na I'm doing a mission. I'm, I'm actually helping them and I'm not just uh, working just for the sake of profit or revenue. Yeah. So speaking of clients, um, do you have an ideal client? Ba? Can you like share it with us? Mm. Okay. So sa ideal client, wala akong specific niche kasi I do service businesses. Pero yung, yung pag niche ko, yung, yung niching down ko is not really on the industry. But it's more on the types of offer. So right now, ang um, ideal client ko is service businesses with high value na offers na amounting to at least for local, for local businesses in the Philippines, uh, amounting to at least 25,000 up. So dapat yung, off, yung product nila or yung service na binibigay nila dun sa um, sa clients nila are nasa ganong price range. So, papasok dyan yung mga nag-offer ng consulting, mga professional services, mga, ano ba, mga coaching, ganyan. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Uh, bago natin ituloy, ngayon wala lang kita yung comment. Sorry. <laughs> si Lori. <laughs> <no. laughs> Nag-share din siya ng, ano, ng Bible verse. Ay, for talaga. I the, uh, for I know, teka, titignan mo patagita natin. Ay, yung, ano, diba? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. I think ito yung shiner na verse dun last time na in-interview namin kasi ano yun, uh, preacher, preacher namin. Mm. Ito, sino rin. Pareho kami ng community <laughs> sa church. Oo. Thank you, Noreen. Uh-oh. Nandito ka. <laughs> Yan. Um, question ulit. Added question. Uh, do you think yung belief ba natin, value should always connect on how we choose clients to work with? Ganyan yung belief natin is connected on how we choose clients. Okay. Ako ay believe oo connected siya kasi 'di ba yung what what yung beliefs natin, yung thoughts natin that actually affects uh yung mga decisions na ginagawa natin. So 100% naniniwala ako doon. So if like if we believe that um Kasi siyempre, iba-iba tayo ng values, di ba? Iba-iba tayo ng mga pinang, pinanghahawakan, pinanghuhugutan. So, let, let's say, for example, um, you're, you're the type of freelancer who doesn't want to be micromanaged. So, if you feel that uh, you're, you're, you're having a discovery call with a prospect, tapos nafe-feel mo na agad sa, sa usapan nyo na parang may tendency siya to micromanage kasi... Uh, yung yung the, the way the the prospect answers your question medyo iba yung ano yung dating di ba so dun pa lang you can already qualify pero if for you 
that's okay. Para ang feeling mo is um is ano ba? Like parang hindi mo siya minamasama. So, then ang tendency is hindi mo mapapansin yung mga signs na yon. And then you you used to be uh happy working with with that kind of client. So, so whatever it is na yung yung gusto natin in life, like yung values, beliefs, uh what we're where we were coming from, uh makaka-affect talaga yon in in how we we choose our our clients. Correct, correct. So, ito merong ano, uh, meron akong friend na pinapatanong niya to. Teka na, uh, about social media naman. <laughs> um, what effective social media strategy can you advise for startup business selling a product? Mm, okay, ano kayong product niya? Hindi niya na-share. <laughs> I didn't share. Ay, medyo parang maraming sagot nga ka dito, you know? <laughs> kahit konti nga. <laughs> Oo, parang madami pa, parang marami pang follow-up question dapat. <laughs> Sige, hindi mo dito. Pero, pero uh, pwede naman siyang tulungan. Ano yan, ano yan? Sorry. Pwede naman natin bigyan ng, ano, ng onting pasimula, kahit, ano, kahit di pa natin alam yung ibang details. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Pwede siguro, ano, so, since hindi alam yung product, tapos hindi natin alam din kung nabenta na na ba yun before. So, masasuggest ko dyan would be, huwag ka muna mag-ads if hindi mo pa siya nabenta before. So, try try selling it first to to your own network. So, whether service yan o kaya, um, let's say, ano, di ba, ah, uh, uh home homemade products diba yung uso kasi yan ngayon eh so let's see gano so try mo muna siya ibenta sa network mo sa friends sa kasi i'm pretty sure yung facebook friends niya siguro naman more than a thousand so there, there's a market right away na pwede niyang pagbentahan noon so try mo muna doon and then get collect testimonials collect feedback tapos kapag meron ka ng ganun um yun kasi yung ano eh, yun kasi yung parang when you're collecting feedback, testimonials, yun yung pinaka marketing assets na binibuild mo for your business para pag nag-ads ka na, mas powerful yung ads, yung impact ng ads mo. Kasi hindi ka lang basta nag-o-offer pero na, pinapakita mo na na na-try na siya ng ibang tao and they're satisfied with your product. Alright. In fairness, that's a good thing. Ayan na. Ito, siguro normal na tanong to eh. What are the usual applications or software a social media should do? Siguro pang bigay natin. Pag sa mga tools, yan. So, kapag sa Facebook, actually, hindi ako gumagamit ng scheduler na hindi native sa Facebook. Well, kasi kami, hindi naman kami masyado heavy on content creation ngayon. Mas heavy kami on ads management. So, we tend to use yung Creator Studio lang, yung built-in na sa Facebook. So, para mag-schedule ng post. So, sa, sa Creator Studio, kasi pwede ka na rin mag-schedule uh, ng post for Instagram. Dati hindi. <laughs> So, dati, may kailangan mo pa separate na tool pa or scheduler. So, yan. Yung mga scheduler, look, look at that. Tapos, um, you can also, you can also look for mga helpful tools that can help you with content planning. Personally, we just use Google Sheets. Mas okay kami with that. Pero others also find Trello. Trello useful. So, yung Trello kasi para siyang drag and drop na ano, na boards. Pwede ka mag-ayos-ayos ka ng mga content. Ganyan. Kapag sa ads naman, um, ah, sa, kapag sa content din, gumagawa ka ng content, syempre ang ating best friend na si Canva. <laughs> very, <laughs> and, very popular <laughs> sa mga sa mga hindi masyado nagde-design, nagpo-photoshop, so yan, yung Canva, yun ang ating best friend. Yun, parang yun yung pinaka-common. Mm-hmm. Correct. At saka maganda yung Canva, kasi ano eh, nagtatry ako ng mga alternative. 
parang babalik pa rin talaga ako sa Canva. Sa Canva? Kaya, Oo. Uh, Actually, uh, yeah. <laughs> kasi gusto lang mag, ano, mag, uh, ano man tawag mo doon? In a way ba tawag doon? Yung nag-grow agad. Yung pag alam mo kailangan nila, nilalagyan nila. Oo, kaya yeah. nila implement agad. Yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Sila. Ayan. So, thank you. Ayan na. At least, nag-end na yung first question. <laughs> Yung Q&A na medyo seryoso. Ayan, si, si Ice uh, ay mag-atin ng uh, tips. Teka, babasahin ko kasi medyo mahaba. <laughs> Ten truths that will make you a fulfilled social media manager. So, Coach Ice, take it away. Go muna. Ayan, sige. Yung first tip, sayang, wala na yung ano. Yung... <laughs> Kina-prepare ni Connie ng mga flashes ng mga graphics. Pero yung first tip natin is choose one social media platform to focus on. Ayan. So, para dito, so, anong ibig sabihin nito? So, choose one social media platform. Um, as mentioned kanina, uh, I started with just focusing on Facebook. So, if you're just a beginner in terms of the of being a social media marketer so since and dami daming social media platforms out there and we don't want to be overwhelmed diba so let's master one muna one at a time if you want to if you want to master facebook then just facebook muna or instagram muna and then learn the basics learn the advanced uh skills in that specific platform and then move on ka sa next when you get a client na dun sa una mong natutunan so that's that's how to, that's how um you can manage yung or lessen yung pagiging overwhelmed as a social media marketer yeah so next next na ba ini next ko na ba siya agad <laughs> So next, ah, ah. <laughs> okay. So next is next tip. Ah, uh, yeah. Next tip is understand your client's business or your client's offers. So actually, itong number two sa kayong number three. Pwede na rin i-flash yung number three. Medyo ano siya. Uh, pwede siya na i-combine. But yeah, understand how they are currently selling. So basically, it's just understanding how your client or your prospect operates their business. So bakit siya important? Kasi, of course, your your magiging potential client mo yun. And tutulungan mo sila, ba? So it's just important that you know yung current situation nila, and you know how they were doing business even before. So, how does that help you as a social media marketer? So, syempre, uh, if you know what their focus, yung una is yung offer nila, di ba? Like, what specific product or service yung pinaka gusto nila i-push? Usually, when I talk to prospects sa uh, discovery call, sabihin nila na, ah, yung gusto namin lahat i-push. Pero, technically, yung iba doon, non-moving services, non-moving items. Saka, hindi naman talaga nagbibigay ng revenue for them. So, kapag ipipilit natin yun i-market, it's gonna be hard for you, di ba? So, kung first engagement mo yun sa client, mahirapan ka magkaroon ng result. Kasi even before you came to work with them, hindi na siya go, hindi na talaga nagmo-move yun eh. So, ang gusto natin hanapan is, may yung saan tayo makakapagbigay ng quick results for the client. So, you, you want to make sure na ano yung focus product natin? Is this something that has worked before? And how are they currently selling it? So, Dito, sa how they are currently selling it, dito mo malalaman paano mo ipapasok yung ginagawa mo as a social media marketer dun sa current process na ginagawa nila. Kasi let's say, they're doing it uh, offline, yung benta-benta. So how do you translate that sa online setting? So that makes you 
uh, strategic and that makes you that, that makes you make them feel that you're understanding their business kasi hindi ka lang basta nagpo-propose ng kung anumang tactics or strategy kasi inaalam mo kung paano mo ipoposition yung service doon sa current setting that they have. Yeah. Tapos, uh, let's go to number four. Number four is be clear with the goals and quantify when you can. So when you're talking with uh, prospects or clients, yun, uh, be clear with the goals. Like, Diba, alam mo na kung ano yung product or focus service na gusto nyong i-push sa market. So, now be clear with the goals. Ilan ba yung kailangan nila na, na sales or ilan ba yung kailangan nila na increase in, in a day, in a week ba to, monthly ba to? And then, on a historical um, perspective, na-achieve ba nila yun before? So, kailangan mo lang malaman ano yung baseline, ano yung current na numbers nila, and then, ano yung gusto nila marating? So, sa point A sila ngayon, ano yung point B na gusto nila marating? So, if you think na achievable yung point B nila, at na-achieve mo na yun with your past clients, then that's the goal. Quantify it. So, from 8 leads, we want to double it to 16 leads a month. Pwede ganun siya. Or from 8 sales, we want to double it to 16 purchases a month. Pwede siyang ganun. So, uh, quantify them when you can. Kasi when, when the contract ends or when the contract is about to end and you're, you're deciding if they're going to renew or not, at least you have the numbers to back up yung performance mo. Kung ano yung nabigay mo results to them. Kasi mas madali yung maano, mas madali yung ma-achieve. I mean, mas madali yung ma-comprehend ng, ng isang business owner. ba? So, if it's followers, pwede rin naman yun. Hindi naman kailangan laging sales or leads. If it's followers that you're giving them, just make sure na before the start of the contract, malinaw yun. Like, from 100 followers, magiging 500 followers. Ganun ba? Yan. So, just quantify it when you can. So, next naman na tip is um, follow up with intent. So, when it comes to following up, actually, yun ito, two sides yan. Us following up our prospects Kasi di ba usually we talk to uh, a lot of prospects or yung may mga mag inquire sa'yo, may mag -re refer sa inyo. So you follow up with them. And with intent means that we give value when we're following up. Hindi lang we're just following up kasi uh, gusto lang natin maka uh, malaman yung reply nila, yung response nila. Pero it's more of us understanding their business with intention. So, following up intent is also applicable when you're helping na the client. So, it's it's you um, it's you giving advice to the client na let's say you're, you're providing them leads or purchases. So, yung strategy mo should also have a follow-up on how they can uh, a follow-up strategy on how they can follow up their clients or customers para their, also, their business also becomes uh, intentional. Tapos, next tip is personalization builds relationship. So, di ba sa pagiging social media, we do a lot of content, we do ads yan. So, personalization is actually understand, if ginawa mo yung understanding, yung number two and three, na understanding your client's business, itong number six shouldn't be that hard kasi it's all about customizing yung content na kinikreate, hindi lang yung basta templated. 
Diba usually, na, diba nauuso yung mga templates, kanyan, sa content. So, it's not bad naman if you're just following patterns on how to write. Pero if it's completely templated na hindi na siya nagre-resonate with the audience of your client, then you being a social ma- media content creator is uh, you're, you're, you're not actually doing the, the best for your client if you're just doing that. So make sure that you're personalizing the content so that your client also builds relationship with their ideal audience. And so number seven is automate. Okay? Tip number seven, automate once there is volume. So sa social media, diba, there's a lot of um, this is talking about the the strategy that we're doing for clients. Ah. Uh, we have messenger marketing. We have, ano pa ba? Um, actually, actually, I'm just talking about chatbot dito eh. Pero yung, yung, yung chatbot kasi diba, medyo naging ano siya eh, naging, ano ba tawag dito? Naging trend na parang, even if wala pa namang volume of inquiries na pumapasok doon sa business, um, andun na yung chatbot. So, okay lang naman yun, pero minsan kasi hindi nako-customize yung experience based yun sa kailangan nung clients. So, you automate once there's volume kasi mas maganda na yung magiging flow nung automation mo, nung chatbot mo, once you understand your market's behavior. Yan. So, tip number eight. Eight na ba? Document what you repeatedly do. So, as a social media marketer, whether you're doing social media management or the strat- overall strategy na social media marketing, it's important na once you get a client, you document yung mga steps na ginagawa mo. Sa social media, ang daming moving parts. So, Facebook pa lang, ang daming mo nang kinakalikot dyan. Um, creator Studio, how do you how do you operate? How do you use Creator Studio, di ba? How do you plan a content using a Google Sheet, di ba? How do you create uh, visuals using Canva? So, ang daming steps, di ba? So, it's important that we document it para in time that you're ready to expand or build a team of your own or kaya naman um, outsource to to other partners, meron ka ng processes. And this will also enable you to evaluate kung maganda ba yung nagiging uh, steps mo, efficient ka ba, is this even uh, working for the client? Yung yung strategy na currently mo ginagawa. Yan. So tip number nine is uh, extend to other platforms when you're operationally ready. So, di ba yung, yung tip number one is just focus on one social media platform. So, ito extend to other platforms. When you're ready na. Um, operationally ready for me means when you have the capacity na, when you can multiply yourself. So that means either you build a team or you outsource sa, sa labas. So, kasi, again, uh, one platform is just too much to handle. What if, what if you decide to add other platforms pa Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, uh, ano pa ba? TikTok, <laughs> LinkedIn, diba? And dami na social media platforms. So if ever you decide to add that into your services, make sure na you're ready operationally kasi uh, it's not gonna be easy to, to manage everything on your own. Yeah. And then tip number 10, that is believe in your ability to help. Yeah. So, 
um, social media could can be overwhelming and it can be also overwhelming to talk to clients na hindi nila maintindihan how social media works. But if your intention is to help them, you will always find a way to to create a, a, a plan, a strategy that will fit them, uh, even a budget that would fit for them because alam mo na makakatulong ka sa kanil. Yeah. Yeah, so that ends our 10 tips. Yay! <laughs> Parang kailangan ko rin. Buti na lang may note na ako ng mga ano mo, tips mo. <laughs> applicable uh, din ka sa YouTube eh. Oo nga. Ayan. Uh-oh. Tapos yeah. na tayo sa, sa second section ng ating uh, live video interview with Coach I. So meron tayong fast Q&A. Which is nakalimutan ko nakikinig. Oo, oh, nakalimutan ko i-prepare. Wait lang. <laughs> Gano'n baka fast yan? <laughs> fast lang siya. Parang ano, A or B or none ah. or both. Kung ano man yun. Ah, okay. Oo. Tapos, um, ito siya. Wala, nawawala. Wait lang. Ah. Ayan, sige. Ready na, ready na. <laughs> May ipa flash bang question? <laughs> no, wala wala wala. Oh, wala, wala. wala. Okay. Oo. Being... Uh-uh. Ah, sige. Um, <laughs> Dog or cat? <laughs> Dog or cat? Dog. Diet or exercise? Exercise. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Tea. Um, texting or talking? Ah, uh, texting. <laughs> <laughs> invisibility or super strength? Ah, <laughs> uh, invisibility. <laughs> Doon tayo. <laughs> uh, pang introvert na sagot tong mga sagot uh-huh. niya eh. <laughs> Beach uh-huh. or mountain? Beach or mountain? Ah, uh, sige, Beach. Read or write? Ano yun? Read or write? Ah, read or write? Uh-uh. Uh, read. Yeah. Um, e-book or hard copy or audiobook? Ah, uh, hard copy. Um, early bird or night owl? Uh, early bird. <laughs> uh, sitting or standing? Uh, sitting. <laughs> Hindi sure. <laughs> Ito, medyo kakaibang question. Ask permission or beg forgiveness? Oh. <laughs> Ask permission. <laughs> um, Ito. What's something you could eat, eat or drink for a week straight? Eat or drink for a week straight? Hello? Uh-uh. Ano ba? Um, water. Except water. Ay, talaga? Except water ba? Ah, uh, next. Ito, last na. Medyo malalim, malalim. Ah, sige. If you could ask God one question, what would it be? Either buhay ka ba or hindi na. Ganon? Ano kaya? <laughs> Siguro, ano? Um, question, eh, no? Siguro, alamin ko na lang kung Anong mangyayari sa future ng family ko? Oh, Lalim, yari. Fairness naman. Mag-isip na. Ah, ano, hindi ko ito nalagay kasi para ano eh. Surprise! Surprise? Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. ayun na. Tapos na yung past Q&A. Yes, 
Wow, okay. maybe the first time. Ah. So before we end, uh, any last piece of advice for the newbies sa uh, freelancing business or industry? Mm, advice, taka. Siguro ano? Um, kisyo. Well, siguro advice or reminder, pede. Ah, uh, siguro it would be. Hindi sana sana na ako pero freelancing is not really for everyone. <laughs> but if your will is strong enough and if you believe that your intent, your purpose is powerful enough to get you to get you moving, to get you to wake up every day, I'm pretty sure that you can make freelancing work for you. Kasi as long as ano as long as uh, hindi mo hayaan yung fear na uh, i-overpower yung ability mo to do try and fail kasi part talaga siya yun thank you thank you so ay may, may tanong si ano <laughs> sino may tanong si tata <laughs> tata Lights on or lights off? <laughs> lights off. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, ano, for those viewers here sa YouTube channel, share with us what, what is your biggest takeaway during this live video interview with Ice. Tapos, again, I apologize <laughs> sa first part ng video na to putol kasi nasa kabilang live stream. <laughs> Buti na aga pa na agad. So, yan. Thank you sa mga nag-stick sa amin until, until the end. Um, Coach Ash, um, ano yung mga, saan kanila pwedeng kontakin? Do you have any website, uh, Facebook page? Yan. Um, actually, wala na pa <laughs> Facebook page na iba pa. Pero if it's about freelancing, I suggest uh, go to ano, go to the the freelancing, the freelance movement, uh, freelancing community free workshop, or you can also look for me on Facebook. Yeah. All right. Basta uh, share... lang kayo. <laughs> share share ko na rin lahat ng mga links na yun sa ano okay. sa in a video na to. And for those who are listening to the podcast, please do uh, re- leave a review para malaman namin kung ano pa yung pwede namin improve. And those na nasa YouTube, actually both podcast and YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. And syempre, like nyo na rin tong video na to. Thank you! Thank you so much, Coach! Ice. Thank you! Thank you for having me! <laughs>